Today we're going over the sit back squats, kind of level one version of the squats. So you're going to start out positioned in front of the Smith machine here. You're going to have your feet about shoulder width apart, toes slightly angled out. You're going to start by extending down here, perfect just like that. You want to keep straight line here uh, from your hips to your shoulders to your ears, just like Roger's doing here. And that's how you do a sit back squat. This is a stationary assisted lunge, so you're going to start off by just setting up two benches on either side of you. You're going to take a staggered stance in between them. Make sure that stance is nice and wide because when you're going straight up and down, you want to make sure that front knee isn't going to come forward of that front toe. And you want to make sure your legs are lined up with each other in a nice straight line. When you're going up and down, you're just going straight up and down. So you want those hips, shoulder, and ears to all be in a straight line. And then obviously you would switch legs to hit the other leg, and that's how you do an assisted stationary lunge. I'll be showing you how to use the rowing machine for a cardiovascular exercise routine. We've got a couple of basic things with the rowing machine. We've got a display unit to show your distance that you can do and a couple of games you can play. You've got a handle to hold on to that incorporates the upper body into the exercise, then a foot anchor that'll make sure your feet don't go crazy when you're performing the row. We're gonna make sure when we get on the machine we have a nice neutral spinal alignment here. And when we go ahead and perform the exercise, we're going to make sure the knees are not hyperextended in any way. We're going to keep a nice flex to them. And we're going to make sure we're pulling that bar straight to the chest, kind of mid-level there. Looks good. And that's how you'd use the rowing machine for a cardiovascular exercise. We'll be looking at how to do an effective abdominal crunch today. As opposed to in a traditional abdominal crunch, we're going to have the feet up on the wall and this makes sure to protect the lower back pain. This is also a useful exercise if you do have lower back pain. You won't experience any of that during this abdominal crunch. We'll have Sydney start with her hands behind her head here in a supporting position and she is going to go ahead and do the abdominal crunch only coming up to about 30 or 40 degrees of spinal flexion here. She's making sure that she's not going to pull with her hands on her head to ensure that her chin is off her chest here and that's an effective way to do an abdominal crunch. So today we're going to be doing the seated high row. So before we even get started, we want to get the weight set up. So you can pull this pin out and put it to a weight that you feel comfortable with. Perfect. We're going to start with the back straight and put your feet up on that backboard about shoulder width apart. Now we're going to lean forward and grab the handles and focus on keeping the shoulders down and the elbows up. And you should feel that squeeze right in between your shoulder blades. Perfect. How does that feel? All right. And that's how you do a seated high row. This is the traditional lat pull down machine. We want to make sure everything is set up right and make sure she's comfortable. So her knees are at 90 degrees, the pads are touching the top of her thighs, and the weight is set to where she's comfortable with. She's going to reach and grab these handles, making sure her wrists stay neutral. She's going to pull down, exhaling all the way down, inhaling all the way up, and keeping her shoulders down. How does that feel? Great. Good. She should be feeling it right in here. And this is the traditional lat pull down machine.